Konnichiwa, Minasa. Watashi no Amai wa Yege desu. And we are back on the front. In the last episode, quite a bit happened. Uh, so, yeah, man of the hour is Mr. Kira Okisune. Uh, I hope, you know, touch wood, I pray for many glorious episodes with this man. Uh, previously, the Matsuda had declared war on us once again and decided to launch a, uh, a major invasion at Buzen once again, resulting in a big fight. In fact, arguably our largest fight in the entire campaign. And of fucking course, they don't leave any kind of marker or statue to indicate such an event took place. But we'll remember. We will remember. So, right now, we are in a bit of a lull period. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the initial campaign start for Motochika has not been as successful as he had initially intended. However, that's fine. I'm not desperate for anything like that. The Uisugi are ramping up their naval efforts to try and uh, force us from the oceans. Well, to force us into a bit of a lull period. We also got a new commander. Uh, Mr. Okobayashi Tamehide, uh, who I will be attempting to uh, bring to the front as well, because I think having ok uh, Tamehide is going to be quite a useful option. We're also going to try and bring some more dudes to the mainland to try and uh, up to, you know, optimize myself on that one, but unfortunately, the Uesugi have really stepped up their naval pre presence. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're really going to ever see peace from them, but we can try, even if it's minus. I do not wish. Yeah, to. they they are never going to accept me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. But anyway, uh, Rin or Kuanaga, Kuana Chikanaga are also. He's also quite chill. Uh, he's doing quite well. Um, at the moment now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get uh, Kira Okisune to make his way towards the Tsushima Islands. Uh, hopefully, his this location will eventually prove to... Well, we can land on the location, and Emperor willing, we can perhaps uh, benefit... Oh, we can actually... Question, how far away are you from walking? Ah, uh, you're not quite as... You're getting there, but you are going to take a bit of a time, unfortunately. But what I will do is I will take some... I will take him there. Can I recruit... Can I put any dudes into... You know what? Just a cabin, Kuninichi. I think you deserve a campaign. At least one last campaign before you kick the bucket, if you will. Uh, can I... This army... I've got four. I've got the. I've got. I've got arguably, Kun, uh, Okisune is the dude of the hour, more or less. But yeah. Uh, right. You and you get inside. You get out the side and take cover, and you can chill for there. Uh, you can sail over to there. You can now kind of sail over there. Uh, we could do with we could do with a couple of Namban trade ships once again. Um, huh. Raketenwerfer. Hmm. You know what? We'll we'll, we'll do some time. Uh, we'll spend some time. Question: Can you build a Raketenwerfer? You can. You know what? You can spend that time recruiting that. And we'll give them a Namban trade ship. And that'll go with this navy. And this will kind of be an underwhelming navy. As I'm only going to give them one Namban trade ship. But they're going to hopefully help take care of this problem. Which this area does have a Namban fleet along with everything. They've got like four vessels. Uh, all of which are ready to go. But I don't exactly want them to just take on the entire Uesugi fleet by themselves. And also, I think we need to start uh, continuing... Well, we need to continue with our island hopping campaign. Fairly soon, the Goto Islands will become uh, like a castle. And I can start officially abandoning the defenses of... I say abandoning. I can start officially uh, looking for a new target. 
Though, I think for the time being, I want Chosokabe uh, Motochika to go and defend the Buzen territories. Not because I don't think he's capable of doing it, but because I think if anything does kick off, which I'm fairly certain it will, he'll get an opportunity to get into some of the action. Uh, so, that's not exactly what I would call the best of logic, but it is better than nothing. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, Motochika. <laughs> it's terrible, I know. <laughs> I have no regrets, but I also am very grateful. Uh, right, I'm going to put a chapel here, just so that way if any other, like, bastard uh, attempts to take a territory, we can at least be like, haha. Also, we desperately need calligraphy. Uh, how are we doing on... Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. I was a bit preoccupied with the war, so it's fine, it's fine. Calligraphy is being studied, and then we can finally go with this option. You know what, neo-functionalism does help, and it provides us with an ability to convert the region. And as I have a feeling most of Japan is still not Christian, that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let us save and prepare for the next phase. So, yes, once we've secured all of the islands that we can around the... Uh, around Tsushima and the uh, Tanagashima, because we're not going to need a lot. We're not going to need a lot. We only need Tsushima and Tanagashima, and then we can finally take a turn and go east. Um, and we can actually then declare war and begin to pro properly, fully go... Uh, there, start again. I can then fully dedicate myself to the annihilation of the Matsuda, whilst also uh, gaining a nice firm foothold on the main island of Honshu. Of course, though, it's not going to be easy because, again, the Uesugi clan are going to be quite the big thorn. But hopefully by the time we reach the Uesugi clan, uh, we will be in a much stronger position uh, and also our forces will be ready and willing. We will also begin our concept of total naval supremacy on the north and the south, but that will be a bit of a challenge considering the fact that, uh, well... I'm not going to spam navies, but we are going to have... I want to ensure that the Carrax and all that jazz are at least one in the north. And the Black Vessel ship is one of the south, so... You know... Shit, shit, shit. Who died, who died, who died, who died, who died. Oh, okay, another priest has died. That's fine. A priest can die... They can build Dutch factories. They can build Dutch factories. A Dutch factory can be built. The enemy can build Dutch factories. That's two things that has now entered my mind. One, holy shit, we can now get mortars a lot sooner. Two, oh fuck, they can get mortars too. And cannon. This is going to turn into Napoleon Total War. Right, okay, so Merchant, Church, Criminal Syndicate, Yari Yard, because I love me some Yari Yards. Right, okay, uh, you're kind of expensive, but you do give us something, but you're not that worth it. Not not for the price you are currently. I really need to relocate this mouse pad. I keep... The problem is, I've got this giant fucking mouse pad, but the way that I position myself at the moment, and it's probably just because of my positioning... My mouse is pretty much point. Is my mouse is pretty much knocking my uh, things, um, monitors. So, right. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> Moto Chica. Right question. Can I recruit two? Yes, I can. And I will also recruit a trade ship because then one of them can just quickly drop me off on the mainland, and he can just make his slow ass way over there. Right. So I should have done that before ending the turn, but that's okay. What? Oh, of course. Right, Navy. Yes, Navy is already in there. Right, okay. <clears throat> we'll split the fleets up. Ah, you're not all refreshed. You know what? Oh, it's too late. Oh, that's fine, it's just his melee core. Right, uh, three of you will move up. Right. You move over to there. You over there. Make your way on. Cool. Okay. 
Now, in theory... Right, let's start making our way over to the island. Right, again, not both armies aren't exactly well trained, which is fine. We just won't have him involved with the battle. Uh, will you fuck off? Be right back. And we're back. Bit of a longer battle than intended. They took forever to actually surrender. But regardless, we have successfully done what we needed to do. Right. So the island of Tsushima is the So Clan. Now, luckily for us. Ah, shit, I forgot to, to cancel the trade agreement. Right, cancel trade agreement. It is good. Right. If I declare war, am I going to get shit? Speak no. And right, so battle. the So Clan. And are. They're currently the only ones residing here. And the So Clan also have no benefits. So, a bit of a random tutorial, because I always like little moments like this. This is what you should do every time you decide to go declare war on a nation. See what you need, what benefits you'll gain, and uh, is there going to be a cut, you know, a, um, a consequence to making such a decision? Because I've done it so many times where I've declared war. And it doesn't act, and you know we end up losing the war or getting ourselves into a bit of a shit scenario because I was too eager to grab something. Anyway, enough of that. Wow. Unexpected. An unexpected visit. Yeah, I know, right? It's... You are not are you? Okay. Right. Let's add the troops here. Donk. And we'll land the troops right as close as I dare. Land. Dunk. Right, so both armies now should be safe. And uh, I've got an army here. And I've got an army here. So both armies... Uh, right, well, I'll have to transfer the mortar into Kira Okusune. Or, yeah, Kira Okusune. Probably. But, yeah. The forces we're going to be encountering are mainly militia and some probably some low, lower quality army troops. But, regardless, we need to be careful. But... It's a good opportunity to quickly wrap this war up and do ourselves a bit of a service. So that's completely fine. Uh, you'll be doing your training thing in a second. You'll be doing that. I should have moved this guy into position, but that's fine. I will keep him... We've already got a spy in that area, so I will put him into this army. Because he needs a spy in his army. Good. Okay. Yes, this is absolutely fine. Right, okay. Uh, I can't really think of anything we need to do. Ah, yes, you. You you need to be something. What can you be? I could make you into a Saki then. I think I'll make you into a Saki then because then we can have more money. I just need a building that I don't really need. Like, I want a building that isn't just purely military, but it will give me some kind of benefit. There we go. Like, it sounds bad, but it's just one of those things. Uh, yes, I suppose. Ah, priest. Do, 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 do. Water, 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 water. No, consigo andar in, in English, bless you too. Right, what have you got? Land consolidation? No, Terence. Oh, you're so close to getting another duchy. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a terrible shame. Anyway, uh, let us end the turn. And uh, let us have a bit of a waddle, 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 with. Sorry, it's more with the it's more with the shinobi that it does that, but um, it does actually work move a little faster as well. Well, I say faster. Further is probably the word I should use here. Hey, Matsuda, you gonna try to declare what? No. Well, good. You learned a lesson. Of course, you're going to be stupid and declare war on me again, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I offer this. You offer this, and I decline this. <laughs> no more peace for you. <laughs> Guess who's going to get killed today? And I know who it is. Oh, trade ship. That's lovely. Who's you? What? Oh, my shinobi has returned. And it was my good one. Noise. These guys have been, like, 
under siege for actual years now. Jesus Christ. Well, actual in-game years is probably the appropriate term. Ooh, Rakittenwerfer. Nice. Right, okay, so... First of all, one of you ships... Uh, we'll put the Waco in there. Trade! And uh, you will mount that. And the naval trade... Oh my god, you have range. Right, well that's fantastic, because you're going to be docking straight over to there. And the Goto Islands now are safe-ish. Uh, like to return to... Ah, I have a job for you. Jump into the army. Right, Mr. Mototika, you may now chill in that location. Right, uh, I will transfer you and take out one of your matchlocks. There we go. I want... Right, we have to have him. Right. I had a feeling something like this would happen. No! Okay. We need him to move ever so slightly up. Right, if I attack, do I get the benefit of... Okay, good news is that fucker runs away, which is fine, because then I can do this. Right, Tsushima, he's there, but reinforcements are there. That's fine. Reinforcements are now available. Huzzay! And, from the looks of it... There we go. Uh, and, from the looks of it, his army is, in fact, quite terrible. Uh, but, regardless... Uh, look at how many fucking generals he's got! What the fuck?! I mean, all of these fine arrays of soldiers, you'd think they put a few bits of their budget into, I don't know, their soldiers? Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's the little tiny fort. <laughs> oh, it's the little tiny fort. Actually, to be honest with you, I think I know what that fortress is. That's the... You know what? I take my words back. That's the somewhat decent fort, even if it's a level one. But it's a little tiny piece of shit, though. And I have to admit, you kind of have to upgrade it. But, regardless, we got cannon to do. Oh, that's a good shot. And also, he's right fucking next to the guard, uh, to the to the army as well. Yeah, he's legit right next to it. I have some experience in battle. Dude, you lo you were involved with the largest bloody battle. Oh, of course, reinforcements. Right, okay, well. You guys are clearly in range. And arguably, they're in range of you. Uh, right, so you will deploy the cannons here. Mortars will deploy here. I think they're just out of range. Ma Matchlock Tower may be a bit of a problem, but that's fine. I don't intend for this battle to last uh, a lot. I'm going to primarily rely on the ma on the killing power of my uh, artillery to really finish the job. And then whoever's left will just get butchered. Go. Right. Target that. And you. Target that. Actually, you. Target that. Oh, they've run out of that. Never mind. Oops, too late. Match locks. Some early, some early target practice. Pop him. Right. 
You get some hits, you're going to do some decent level of kills. Uh, right, I want you to breach the hull here. Try and pop some shots if you can. Reinforcing army. Uh, feel free to like take a chill chill pill here. Fire. They're gonna try their best and try and go for a knockout option. I'll do what I can. I could probably... Yep. There goes their army. Or at least a giant portion of their archer corps. But then again, they've got another form of archers here as well. I would be rude if... I would consider myself a height of being rude if I were not to target these dudes. Target that! You're a mortar! You target that gatehouse. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. Oh, they actually did take damage. Did they actually die? They did. Okay, so even if you knock the gate out. They actually take damage. Huh. I was not aware of this. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, you are kind of being a bit blocked. Oops. Whoops. Sorry. Okay, in, in this cannon's defense, you are kind of blocked. But guess what? You. Oh. Well, I took someone's head off. Right, that's that is kind of hilarious, though. Oh, hello. What's this? I see you. Good thing I, I good thing I saw that. I'll take care of that in a second once I get rid of this. Uh... Oh, for the love of God! Yay! Right, I'll turn around and take care of that one unit in a second. Question. 100%? 100%. Right. About face! See you, fuckers. strongest right they're gone
Problem is the enemy have kept deploying their cavalry about, which is a bit of a, a a bit of a vex. I'm wishing also that our troops could, you know, do something a bit more impressive, like you know, not suck so much. They need accuracy upgrades. Yeah, finally, one of their generals got caught in the blast. Uh, right. You target that. You target that. We're going to have to somehow fight our way up into the territory. I do not believe, though, we'll be able to stop their forces from being able to block through. But we will utilize the strongest uh, formation of Naginata infantry to try and punch a hole through. I'll also take the opportunity of perhaps getting some of my bowmen into position to try and make this assault a little easier. I might even... Yeah, so what we'll try and do is we'll try and do a similar attack pattern to what we've done before. Whereupon... Oh, for the love of God! Hmm? Oh, it's that fucking bow unit! Withdraw! <sighs> Just been shooting at my fucking matchlocks without for willy-nilly. That's my bad. I didn't realize that they wouldn't have fucked off completely. Uh, oh, that's useful. Now's a good opportunity. Zerg up. One of our units has used all its ammunition, my lord. Alright, oh, we've taken way too many casualties. Take care of that fucker. Zergen, Zergen, Zergen. Oh my god, they've given me a fucking glorious opportunity. Go, 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 go. Take, take the bridge. That's a smart idea. Question, can I shoot over there? If I... Tunnel vision. Rape that infantry. I don't care how you do it. Just make sure that nothing remains but pl blood and death. Right, get inside that center point as soon as you can. All of you inside that center point. Again, we can cut short a massive fight. Forty seconds. That's all we need. Yeah, don't let the men. Don't let the Indian escape. Ten, twenty seconds. This is the dangerous part. I am going to let my dude kind of get close to them, but that's only to try and show his capacity as a commander. One Naginata infantry should be fine. He's going to, they're going to get rained on a bit, but yeah, they've done it. They've done it. The enemy have decided to once again gift us a castle. Uh, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. And that's the day. So a large portion of casualties I suffered were a direct result of my... Lacks 
of awareness. Uh, my situational awareness was terrible, not gonna lie. Uh, but regardless, we've done it. And more importantly, shit was done right. Yeah, so majority of the casualties I suffered more likely are, was a result of my negligence there. I will hold my hands up. In my defense, I did smack the living shit out of them, so... It's not like I didn't try. Honma. Okay, well, I don't mind. Honma's a decent ish nation, I suppose. Ah, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Right, so, unfortunately, unlike... Uh, right, well, we can get rid of that, though. Unlike the uh, territory of um, things, we're going to have to leave a commanding officer in here to try and deal with this. I would try and send a priest in, but we don't have a priest. We're fresh out We're fresh out of priests, unfortunately. I could actually if I wanted to. You know what? We'll do it. I have to wait for another turn, though. Shit. Okay, well, we will convert him to Christianity. This island will be converted to Christianity, and we will improve, improve its defenses from Stronghold. Uh, you can actually get in now, which is nice. Right, well, you've taken part of the campaign, but I can't honestly say you've done a great, you know, you actually did a major, like, role in said campaign. But, you know, you're here, and it's fine. Uh, yeah. With the army and navy inside. So, there you go. Do, do, do. Right, we will get rid of all of those other ships, though, because I don't need them. And it's, you know, got us 200 quid, so that's all good, that's all dandy. Right, army, feel free to disembark. There you go. And Ch Moto Chica, sorry, Kuninicha Nika can meet up with Moto Chica again. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah! Um, right? Yes. No, Moto Chica and uh, Kunichika, Moto Chica and Kunichika can be friends again. That's awesome. That's a point. Agents, who's the lowest of my Metsukes? None of them. Oh, he's a Waji. Oh, he's Mr. Emura Takanis Takamasa. There's too many Metsukes who have done extremely well for me, and I feel sad because I feel like I have to destroy one of them. But regardless. Right, well, the good news is the Tsushima Island is now under our control, so the only island left to take is Tanagashima. And Tanagashima, I have no intel on, nor do I know who controls it. Probably isn't Christian, though. That's a, that's a guarantee. Mm, maybe that might be a, a, a plan for Mr. Motochika. But that's a job for Chosokabe. No, that's not really a much job. He's going to be the guy leading the charge. So really, it's this guy's job. Kuwana Chikanaga. You know what? Yeah, Chikanaga. Right, Chikanaga, got a job for you. You can transfer the shitty archers out of your army and dump them there. I will give you the matchlock cannon. We've not really got a lot of dudes, though, have you? Like, actual quality soldiers. What have you got over here? What have you got over here? What over here? Nothing. What have you got? Okay, so we got a bunch of Yari Samurai, and that's it. And then you've got some Chosokabi bows, as well as the, well, shitty matchlock quality. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, no, you're, not, you're not getting away with that. Uh, okay, I'll recruit one of those, and I'll downgrade the amount of how many bows you've got uh, to, like, beyond defensive guard. I will then recruit some... I can't afford it, but that said, you're also barely able to afford it. Right, make your way over towards uh, North Chikazen, and then... Uh, I can transfer what we've got over to here. You can be building up. And I'll give you some more samurai to work with. So that way um, we can build up our reserves. Then I'll send you down south towards uh, uh, Tanagashima. Who then, hopefully... Do we know who controls Tanagashima? Oh, Tanagashima. Okay. Mm. I will request a trade for a few here. turns. Just so we've got something to start with, and we can also then gain intelligence about the place. So, the island itself is not that impressive, so I think even without cannon and matchlock, uh, you'll be fine. But it always, it, it always helps to have a cannon with you, and also, well, the army we've got is more or less adequate, but I think it's, uh, let's not, let's not cut, let's not cut any corners. 
And let's take this battle seriously, because even a level 1 fort can fuck us over if we're not careful. So, it's not much of a profitable estate. Unfortunately, it is not Christian. So what I might do is I might take the opportunity and recruit. Can I recruit another priest? No, I cannot. That sucks. Um, I'll take the priest I've got, and he'll head down south to uh, Tanagashima anyway. And then Tanagashima's will be secure, and then a priest who I know is on the way upstate. Uh, he can move north, and we can start the process of converting, upgrading, and doing whatever. And then we can sort of, you know, it's vice versa, and hopefully things will be all pleasant and lovely and all that jazz. So, ah, there we go. Right, so you're doing that, you're doing that. Yeah, so, so far, things are working out quite stably. I'm not saying it's working out well, they're just stable. And being stable is a nice thing. Stability is what makes life very enjoyable. At this moment in time, I'm probably jinxing myself so hard right now. Uh, but this is the 45th episode, so once we hit the 50th episode, I will not go... I'm not going to lie, I am... Oh, yeah, I'm actually not going to lie. You actually... Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, and your matchlock, Arkabuse. It's like, hello, have matchlocks. Uh, right, recruit... Onobushi and some Naginata Samurai. Yeah, this army is by no means complete, but it's better than nothing. To be honest with you, I might have recruited those three matchlocks and dumped them back to this lot. You know what? These guys disband. Dunk. There you go. This army isn't as big, but you'll get the big, decent units. This army now has quality def uh, quality uh, in terms of that. We'll get my best agent out as well. I do feel sorry for him. He is doing a very important job, though. He is QRF. Or quick reaction force, to those who don't know. Right. We need to make some progression, though, in some form or another. It's just a bit unfortunate, really. But that's fine. Right, let's have another turn. If we're lucky, we can probably find ourselves... Uh, I, I don't want to get locked down too much on the island hopping campaign too long. So, I want Kuenaga Chikunaga to... I want him to get over there and to the south as fast as possible. So, he is going to unfortunately, along with Okin Okisune, uh, be bowed out from the initial burst of combat, uh, taking on the Matsuda. But what I can do is, as soon as I can sort of tentatively leave the place, um, I can... Well, what I'll do is with uh, with a, with uh, Tachibana and all that, was I with that? Chicken, uh, chicken naga. Game, please don't crash. Oh, you gave me a heart attack. I mean, I saved, but still. Uh, hello. Oh, our army got spotted. Okay, that's probably because their spies are already doing it. Hello. <laughs> hello. What you got? Oh, they have all attack only as well. They are oh under strength as well. That fleet looks intriguing, I'm not going to lie. Could be a good opportunity to test out the Raketenwerfer. Ah, the Raketen, Raketenwerfer. Ah, so how you guys got that? Goto's got a Yari Yard, and South Hizen have got some booze. Booze is important. Right, you need to make your way there. And you need to upgrade to a normal mission. You are better. Right, okay, um, one, two, do you have any Katana Ronin? We do, but they take two turns to recruit. How about you? No. Uh, you'll be fine with Naginata Samurai. I do love the Naginata Samurai. They are such a badass unit. They are not super cheap to recruit, mind you, or to keep, in, to keep up with, so it's 
It's kind of a tit for tat. Right, I will replace the two Naginata Arshigaru. And we'll get four Chosokabe. So a little bit longer we'll have to wait, but that's fine. You will be making your way across. You, we can actually begin the concept of just deconstructing some of the units, especially these dudes, because we don't need them. Uh, we will keep these guys because they will act as a nice little buffer army, uh, occupying force, to try and uh, manage certain things. So I'm happy with that. You probably need to start making your way up to the north, because now they're finally at peace. Um... Yeah, 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 she got it. Feel free to leave that. Alright, so Mr. Chosokabe Motojika, he's in his 18th year. He feels bad about what happened, but I honestly don't blame him. Right, and this dude is about to make his way towards fame. Hopefully. I have good feelings about this uh, Okobayashi Tamihide. He may prove to be quite a useful uh, person indeed. Mm. Oh. That's fine. Right, uh, yeah, so we'll wait for him to get the four Chosokabe dudes and then we'll be out. South Higo, you have converted and you're kind of... Well, no, you've only just converted, unfortunately, so I can't quite get rid of the garrison here. I will probably consider... I will probably start to consider, once we've dealt with the southern situation, to remove uh, the garrisons, because we've now got... Well, I'm down, we're going to need to get a castle for this lot. But this place has got a fort... Oh, he needs a castle. Is anyone a castle? Is anyone a castle here? No... Well, we don't need the special dudes, do we? I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not like... Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, the main reason why I have these dudes is so we can have at least a... Uh... Alright, you're going to be chilling over here. Right, you go chill here. You go chill in the forests. You go chill here. I'm waiting for these guys to start declaring war on me again, to be honest with you. Right, Tsushima Islands. Well, of course you're happy. You're, you know, being made to be happy. Um, I can't make a church. 816. Uh, what can I do to not... Right, well, you know what? They don't need a chapel. This place does. So two turns, and this island will hopefully convert a little faster. Uh, question. What other buildings did I make intentionally that costs us a lot of money apart from making the four units of it. Well, that's going to be constructed in a second. That's partly the way through and I think I do kind of need that because is there any building I don't need? Well, that, Is there anything I'm constructing that I do not need to construct? No? Okay, fair enough. Ugh, we need more money. I mean, I could hoik the tax up a, the, the tax up a little bit. But that's just for the entire area. If I go high on that one, that's going to cause problems a lot. Even though that would be nice. How much money would I get if I did that? Oh, that would be so nice. Yeah, we need more money to be honest with you. Sixty one per cent. Is that just because well, it doesn't matter? Well, regardless, we got shit to do on that one. Okay, so two turns till that's done, so we can try and convert the region a little faster. You'll be done in a turn, so you can instantly um that I'll spit out another priest. And then that priest can start moving west uh, sorry, east potentially once we start the the war. 
Yeah, I mean, what, it's literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until Osumi is secured, and then I can have... That's the go-ahead for the invasion of uh, Matsuda. Which is a very nice thing. Again, it's going to be a bit of a shame. Uh, to be honest with you, this army isn't really in a condition to launch any kind of invasions. It'll have to be a support army for a time. Or for a duration, I can give him uh, this to bulk him out a bit, which... Truth be told, is a little de-glorifying, but troops are troops, and I think uh, veteran Ashigaru would probably be quite suitable for him. Uh, he's also got a fair amount of samurai in the army anyway, so it's not like he's losing out on a lot of dudes, but... But... There we go. There we go. Yeah. Make you ready for war. We need another spy. Or, you know, we need another... If I'm not mistaken, there is a... No, there isn't. Okay. Well, the thing is... Okay, so both armies are ready and... Re yeah. Ready and raring to go. Uh, we've got occupying forces inside Buzen... Pretty soon we can launch an attack over the talk, over the north towards Matsuda, and then we can start the major invasion. Hopefully to be able to uh, do whatever, but we have to we have to wait until I've secured all this thing. Why? Because artificial delaying. <laughs> but once we've got that, Maho, glorious Maho. And then the true war, well, and then the war we've been waiting for will begin. And the Matsuda are struggling. Looks like they've got some friends in not so good places. That or they are actually, no, I'm actually looking in the wrong way. The Matsuda are advancing. They are now starting to encroach upon Uesugi terrain. Which makes me wonder, the Uesugi, are they friends with the Matsuda or are they not? Oh, my phone's making twitchy noises. Apologies for that. I only just started hearing that as well. Probably turn that to zero. Wonder how many times that's been doing that. I hope not long. Mm, I need a new phone. <laughs> is that that is that that point? Has the phone died? The phone has almost died, ladies and gentlemen. The pho This phone is coming up for two years old, so I can't exactly complain, but... Stay alive. Just a little longer. Right. Hey, profits. We're, we're getting a bit more profits again. Right, okay. So, in... Our lovely territory. We've got two recently recruited dudes and the navy that'll take him across, which is now guaranteed to be fairly safe as well. Uh, make your way down south. Mm. Fuck's sake. Uh, what have you got? Okay, is that an Amorio Atakabune? That's a quite a sizable fleet, but this army. Well, this fleet. Oh, fuck. This fleet does have the trade ship as well. Fuck. Whoops. I don't really fancy this fleet's chances of a successful naval... Well, it's not that they wouldn't be successful. It's four Nambans, as far as my god. And their naval fleet would explode. But it's the fact that they've got all of those ships, and I don't really kind of fancy a massive naval battle just to clear them out of the way. Uh, and oh, of course, they've got that ship there as well. But hey, they've got the Namban trade ship. Okay, you know what? What's the size of this fleet? It's actually quite a buggered fleet. You know what? I think for the last few bits of this video, let's experiment and see what our Raketenwerfer Kobaya, Kob um, Kobaya uh, can do. Right, so this is a simple battle versus battle. Uh, the enemy fleet is damaged, so I, this battle is easier than piss. But this is really more of an experimentation battle. What can we expect to see uh, when it comes to... Uh, ah, there we go. 
What can we expect to see from utilizing this new weapon? Now, if the Raketenwerker Kobaya uh, works exceptionally well, then that's going to go right next to our main fleets and will act as a great way to initiate combat. Because, um... Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Dry conditions. Wind is a little... little rickety, but I think it works. I don't know if it's going to be as effective, but I can't help but feel slightly nervous. But these will go extremely well because they are quite balanced, but still... Right. What is this? Faster rowing. Hmm. That's actually quite nice. My Arraketenwerther. Arraketenwerther Kobaya. Bo Kobaya, so... Arraketenwerther Kobaya. You got a bit of a range to you, though, which is good. Now, these things are supposedly meant to... Well, supposedly are going to allow us to pop a shot... Right, where's their trebuchet? There's their trebuchet, though... <laughs> what?! entire life, my entire time playing this game, ever seen a unit surrender before the fight began. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that is giving me a giggle. Oh. That is extremely entertaining. Anyone shooting? No, it's just... No, that is... Oh... That is, that is, that is something for the record books. For sh <laughs> You cowardly shits. I mean, maybe the unit can't do anything. We don't know, but that's just hilarious. I've never seen that before, though. Didn't think it was possible. Like, you'd think the ship could probably suffer a little bit of a, uh, a debuff because, you know, it's not going to have any crew for it. Or maybe the ship just doesn't turn up at all. But the fact that it auto-surrenders. <laughs> oh, that's just magical. Right, okay. Rekedenwerfer Kobaya. Do your thing. Target that bow Kaboya. You're in range. You better be in range. Are you going to shoot? Oh, here they go. They're going up to the front. A little concerning how tiny you are. Shots are out. Oh, hit. That's impressive, but that said, it is a small target. Whoa! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you're... <laughs> Watch the f Oh, God, look at the fucking damage that's taken. Jesus Christ. And the casualties. Stop. Like, fuck, it wasn't my commander's ship. Right, he's fired a bit. They've, we've got some direct hits. I mean, it's kind of hard not to see the... It's hit. Oh, it has hit! I mean, the thing is, I mainly remember the... Uh, it doesn't look like there's an actual symbol for them firing. But if you get a solid hit, what are we looking at? Are they going to be effective? I mean... It's hitting, but the ships already were damaged. And it's really hard not to look at the... Um, I mean, it is... It, it, ah, it started a fire. I think in concentrated doses, you could quite easily see... Uh, yeah, that's that's instantly stopped the ship. You know what? I think we we have got a bit of a winner. And especially ships like a trade ship. 
I think the trade ship has got the number, has got the winner. That ship's on fire. That looks like that's surrendered. No, it's not. He's wavering and he's on fire. And with in, in combination with everything else, I think we're on a bit of a winner. Yeah, look at that. Instant setting on fire. And he surrendered, so they can't fix the ship. But again, that could mean that we could just, you know... Good hits. They surrendered. They surrendered. You're already surrendered. You surrendered? They surrendered. Or did they sink? They're still shooting at this group. Oh, they have to abandon ship. That's how bad it is to them. It's impressive. Right. Uh, yeah, this has been a relatively successful test. I am confident that Raketenwerfer works. I mean, they are inaccurate, but... Aya! One of our ships has been set ablaze! They're vulnerable, they can get shot at, but they are also quite dangerous. If left in the wrong... If left in a bad position, they are vulnerable, it would seem, but they are not solely... Yeah, no, in a, in a vulnerable position. surrendered. I think the three ships need to be in close proximity to one another. Yeah, they've surrendered. Look at that morale hit. And they're on fire as well, which means they have to stop. Oh, they've got the row ability, which is better. That ship's taken a bit of a kicking. Oh yeah, that ship's fucked. That ship's gonna sink. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> now they're all focusing on the one target. They can't really hit a small ship, but these bigger ships they probably would do exceptionally well at. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm satisfied. This this is a successful test. It was a little dodgy at first, but I am proud. These things have done exceptionally well. Like, not only have they have completely eliminated... Um, oh, that's a really good image as well. The image of all Uesugi ships to be found... Like, all of these ships are exceptionally well uh, damaged. I mean, they, again, the, the ships were already damaged, so I can't honestly say it's 100% uh, successful, but... They are certainly... When, when you give them a good volley like that... Pew! Haha! <laughs> Suck it. Row like the motherfuckers you are. They can row faster, they can shoot for longer, and they do a pretty good damaging blow. So far, these guys... Are you surrendered? Oh, they're still swimming. Oh, the cannon's back. <laughs> Not a good day for you. Fire.
This guy won't surrender. Only downside, fairly inaccurate. You are determined to get away, love. How are we doing on casualties? Have we taken any hits? Possibly. We need to get a couple of good hits on the cur on the crew as well. Like getting some solid hits on the crew will probably do us some nice little set. But no, I'm convinced. The Raketenwerfer. There we go. Oh, look at that as a finish. That's awesome. So, yeah. The Raketenwerfer Kobaya has definitely proven itself. Its capacity to do awesome shit like that makes me proud of it. You know, it gets the official Mistyega seal of approval. Dunk. You're going to be deployed alongside uh, the front lines. Right. <laughs> Do I want the surrendered fire trebuchet? No, thank you. Nah, that was a very successful test. Uh, yeah, you can... You too. Right, there we go. And that is where I believe we will end the episode. So what I'll do here is I will fight this battle, but because we've kind of seen this style of battle before, um, and arguably I don't think we even, even with the supremacy in naval support I have here, I don't 100% feel confident about this battle. Like, sure, we have a Morio Atakabune and four units of cannon. That might turn the odds against them, but... That's a lot of Yumi siege towers, and while their or Atakabune may withdraw or may surrender, <laughs> um, that's a lot of dudes. I don't know. Their morale is actually quite low, though, so maybe if we're lucky, I might clear them out. Maybe. Maybe. But regardless, uh, we will continue to try and get uh, Mr. Kuenaga Chigenaga uh, to head down south to land on Osumi, and we will prepare for an, our first proper invasion of Honshu. Or Honshu. Hon no, it's Honshu. Yeah, so once we grab Honshu, we'll start the process of pushing eastwards towards the final objective. Oh, before we do, though, Uesugi, you at war with the... No, you're not. Are you on good terms? No, you're not. At least we know that the two aren't going to ally each with each other. Yeah, they're not exactly been big fans of anything else, so it's not exactly a problem, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below, clicking on the like button, and of course, subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, because YouTube likes to screw over YouTube people. Anyway, I'll see you next time. This is Mr. Yeager, signing out.